Hey guys, as you saw from the intro, in this one we are going to struggle quite a bit in the early game, making it way more interesting. But don't worry, because I'm using a new build for Alos that I find extremely powerful. Whenever he swings the mighty Mjolnir, also known as Jonathan, his will just start rolling. For those who didn't get Jonathan's reference, here's the clip. What is the name of Thor's hammer? Mil... 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 Nodjua. Mjolnir? Jonathan? Anyway, in this match, I'm playing with another Mobile Legends streamer, Boca Roscoe. Feel free to check his stream on either YouTube or Twitch, he's a pretty chill dude. Hilo is extremely annoying and scary in the early game, you don't really want to fight against his perma slow and magic aura at the start. Even their top laner joined the fight. What an interesting start. I cannot afford to go back to heal, if I do that, my farm will be extremely delayed. As long as I can safely secure all the jungle monsters on the bottom side, I shall be able to recover most of my HP. I had a hunch, Yusun will most likely try to keep harassing Ruby. Yusun's passive deals so much damage, so usually he likes to keep harassing his lane counterpart non-stop. I saw Harley in the top lane, I was hoping I could sneakily take the turtle. We kinda need it because we were falling quite behind. Unfortunately, the Guinevere realized my sneaky attempt. Sad face. Well, this is definitely the start that I was hoping for. We are getting completely out rotated at the moment. So hard to get a kill, Satch. Well, I underestimate Yusun's passive damage. Even though we know they are taking the turtle, there's not much we can do about it. We are completely outnumbered and they are more fed than us at the moment. Not worth taking the risk at all. Things are starting to look quite dire for us. If I don't farm fast enough, we probably won't be able to make a comeback. Oof, I didn't realize that he was that fed. Just look at how much he was able to farm. Both their side laners are extremely fed. Also, no wonder I didn't hit him as hard. He built brute force as his first item.
Here, I could either take the gold crab and push the bottom lane, or go contest the turtle. I went for the latter. At this moment, I think we should have enough damage to burst them down, especially with Kagura's ult. Dragon is coming, time to run. Even their tank Hilo solo kill our ruby. I might have to start swinging the mighty nuts a little bit harder. I like Wind Talking a lot for Alos, it's just the perfect item for him. Well, we are letting them take the side lanes turrets completely for free. Guinevere is hiding in the bush, and she is probably not alone. What a godly reaction from our Tigro. It's like he was waiting this whole time just for this moment. We have the number advantage, so I'm feeling very confident to take the lore right now. Dragon is here. We gotta wait until he changes form. At this point of the game, I will probably be the main focus, so I gotta make sure to not be out of position or else we are 100% going to lose the team fight if I die first. Literally like having Freya's old permanently. I already got my Lefty Roar, we can easily take him down.
They have too much AoE damage. We have to be smart on how we engage the fight. You can see how Kagura and I are waiting for the right timing to engage. If we are all bunched together like the rest, this could easily turn into a wiped out and we will probably end up losing the game. I gotta get away from using third skill before resuming my attacks. All the little in-game decisions matter. My retribution is on cooldown, we must kill Harley first before taking the Lord. By the way, do you see how Aldous was instantly deleting everyone? Let's watch it one more time. This hero is absolutely naughty, especially with this new build. Even Yusun couldn't help but laugh at this ridiculous damage. This was a very exciting match, but do you know what's even more exciting? The new Matrix movie. I cannot wait to watch the sequel to one of my favorite movies of all time.